Hi, K12s. So for science today, we are going to honor no sock day. I hope that you are spending your day without any socks on. So we are going to do an experiment with socks. In this experiment, you need three things. You need socks and you need kind of big socks. So I would get a grown up socks and ones that aren't just ankle socks, but like kind of big. So you need a sock, you need a tall glass, a pint glass. And then the last thing that you need is a big area of water that's as deep as your glass. So for me, I'm using my sink. You might also use a, a huge bucket if you have a big enough bucket or maybe outside you have some area. A great place to do this experiment is actually the bathtub. If tonight you're going to take a bath, you can watch this through and then try it for yourself in your bath. Um, that is a great place because then you're also using that water already and you're not wasting the water. If you are going to do that, watch the video through so that you know what to do. And then um, just tonight or whenever you take a bath, do the experiment. If you are going to do it with a giant bucket or using your sink, you can um, go get your supplies, a cup of socks in case you, in case there's a mistake and you need a new sock and a glass. You just need one and then fill up your sink or tub and pause this and then just press play whenever you are here and ready to go. Okay, so once you have all of your materials, you're going to take your sock and ball it up and stuff it inside your cup. You want to test it so that when you flip it upside down, the sock doesn't fall out. Sometimes I put it in and if I just go kind of loosely, it falls out. So you really want to wedge it in there. Okay, so now it doesn't come out. Oh. Okay. Now it's not coming out. So I have this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and I'm going to show you it before I do it. I'm going to put the glass in the water like this. And I'm going to go down. I'm going to tap the bottom of the sink or tub or bucket and then pull it back out. Um, and I am going to be really careful that I'm going straight down. I'm not tilting it at all. I'm going straight down, tapping the bottom and coming straight back up. And my question for you is, is my sock going to get wet or stay dry? So make a prediction. I'm going to show you what I'll do again. I'm going to go straight down into the water, tap the bottom, and come straight back up. Will this sock get wet or stay dry? Did you make your prediction? Okay, let's check it out. Okay, straight up and down. I'm not tilting it at all. And now I'm going to come back up and let's pull the sock out. It stayed dry. Is that what you predicted? Okay, now we're going to talk about why it stayed dry. So what happens is that when this sock is in the cup, there's actually two things in this cup. There's the sock, which you can see. And then in all of this space, there's air. And air, just like what we breathe, it's in the air, it's there right now. I can't see it or feel it or smell it or even really taste it, but I know it's there. It's also inside my cup and it kind of creates a protective barrier for the sock. So when I push it down into the water, the air is actually still in the cup and because the air is in there, the water can't get in. So the water is just going to the side and it's not going up into the cup, which is protecting the sock. So come on back over. I'm going to show you something a little different now. So the air stayed in here because I was so careful to go straight up and down. 
what happens if I tilt it to the side once I get to the bottom? So I'm going, my hand. So I'm going straight down, straight down, straight down. And now watch what happens when I tilt my glass once it's in there. What is that that just came up? That is what we call an ale bubble. That's all that ale releasing. Do you see it? That's all that ale releasing from the cup. And that is gonna make it so that my sock actually gets really wet. So when you go straight down and up, the ale stays in the cup and it puts and it protects the sock. But when you let the AO bubble out, it um, the water can then get in and it has room to get in. So test out this, try it maybe with different glasses, different size socks, try doing it at different angles. One thing is that it's best if the cup can be completely underwater. Mine was really just at the same height of the water. But if you can make it so that the water is even deeper than the cup, that is, that's the best way to do it. Um, okay, great. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Thanks.